Tag. <lacht> Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, meine Herren, meine Damen, meine Herren. <lacht> Einen schönen guten Abend. Wir sprechen heute Abend mal Deutsch, ja? Sehr schön. Ja, ähm, Den, Dennis kann, sprich, sprich gut Deutsch, ja? Und, und ähm, mich, mich, Michael, ja. Michael? Ja. Ich liebe Weißen. Ja, ich bin nicht weiß geboren, so ich spreche Schweizerdeutsch. But the funny thing is, usually they speak in two totally other languages within the team. <coughs> By the way, we are... Um, Having an NSL talk here with NMPCIH Hayabusa, right? Who is that? Oh, well, some world champions. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another NSL live talk with NMPCIH Hayabusa. We are hiding here and we're using English now. Yeah. yeah. The introduction in German will stay on the video, so we're not. And then we we'll speak a little bit um, Belgian too, because they're using all kind of languages: German, Belgian, English, French. Italian, whatever, <laughs> anything um, to communicate. And uh, it is the new line. Well, let's say it is a lineup with one of the candidates for the open slot that David, your brother, left Absolutely. behind. Yeah. How did we come to this? We are, by the way, we are also here in a luxury resort in Florida. You know, so the Belgian military is uh, picks the finest places on the planet to accommodate their <laughs> their teams, their top performers. <laughs> they, uh, David, come on, explain the whole uh, thing. I'm, so I'm done moment, now. At, I'm at, done. The, at the moment, so we are we are now in uh, in uh, Zephyrhills training in Skydive City. Um, and what Kurt was actually referring to, we were in the golf resort of uh, Saddlebrook because of one of our partners. Uh, he has helped uh, our stay here in Saddlebrook and we feel very lucky to be here and that's why the environment where we are at is, uh, is super sweet, super sweet. We were, we we're super lucky to be here. But, but it's not always like that. We have to point out that your friend doesn't own a Saddlebrook, he owns the... Uh... He owns actually another tennis center uh, called uh, SVB and um, yeah, sad story being true, they're actually competition of each other. Uh, although he has a condo here where we're staying at and um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what the future will bring but it might also be our last stay here in uh, SVB or, or not because that will, that will, we will find that out in February, uh, beginning of March. And I, we, we don't really have to introduce anybody here any longer except for one. Well, let's also, okay, let's go through it because I don't know if we have, last time we had an NSR live talk with Mike. I think he had a helmet on or something. Yes, it was 3 <laughs> June 2019. So, <laughs> so this time we are introducing a new member, not hidden with a helmet or whatever it is. We are presenting him right away. Um, the way he looks like really and without any secrets but here's the current senior member of NMP PCA Tayabusa Dennis Prate so we will pick on then then there is the 15 time world champion David oh no 14 um, plus five you are, it's five. actually to be uh, to be totally correctly it's it's 19 19 yeah 19. I was just trying to make fun but yeah it, no 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 19. I know I know sometimes it's hard to count but uh, I also figured it out now the last time when we were in Qatar suddenly I saw the pictures of the sisms and then you start thinking ah, oh, seven and and, and and so eventually it's at, at this moment now in time 19 years uh, is what the team is uh, uh, old or the team is now formed like 19 years ago and uh, we have the the, the, the the conto actually is 19 at the moment between indoor and outdoor and system, system to be correct yeah, yeah that's but that has never happened before either that one team is uniting all three world championship titles, yes right? yes well no 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 i don't think so for no. us uh, definitely not a four way and that's david growls yeah and i'm the i'm at the moment the camera guys the camera flyer of uh, hayabusa since michaela stepped into the into the team and that's uh, Mikael. So we haven't had him in a in a live talk situation like this ever, I think. It's the first time, is it? No, no we had a couple. Zoom. Yeah, Zoom. 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 Zoom.
But that, also, ah, that was life. That was life. 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 Yeah. life. Not life in front of the camera, all together, no. including myself. No. Not with <laughs> that is the first time. Beer. Yes. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Mike. Hi, the, Mike. The, la you are the, now the last newest member. Yes. He's not the newest member any longer. Uh, so, and then next time, um, the, the, the second senior, the second senior, you know, Bob. Bob, we had an earlier conversation. Yeah, yeah. You are Jerouan Nolet, Jeroen, actually. Yeah. But since, and everybody calls since you Bob. it's super hard to pronounce, as, as you just uh, showed. Easy for me. Um, my international name, let's call it this Bob. And being given to me uh, by Joey Jones back in the days, my very first training camp, when I was still an alternate for Hayabusa. Um, he was still coaching the team and that's, that's just and we that talk about this in a second but yeah. Joey Jones gave you that name yeah. interesting enough I didn't know this until today there you go. <laughs> I know you were Bob but yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't know where Bob came yeah. from all right and now you can introduce your so and uh, next to me is, is Neil Willems and he's your uh, peace he's my new peace partner um, he was previously on, uh, on Team Falco and he's one of the candidates um, to join the team but he still needs to do his medical tests, he needs to join the army and do his basic training so nothing is certain for now um, but he had some time to come and join us here on Zephyrols and uh, that's what we're doing. We'll, we have been doing some jumps and we will do some more uh, training jumps with him. If you want to add anything? No, just I started. Previous team was Falco, and then I'm now testing with Haim Busa, and it's a great time. Yeah, you're That's in paradise, sure. man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody on the planet is jealous to get three world champions as your teachers, coaches, Four. playmates. <laughs> so, anyhow, so if if I get this correctly. Um, it is not, you know, you, you call him the candidate for Hayabusa and if I understand that correctly, he is a candidate only because the biggest obstacles on the way to becoming the, you know, the fourth um, Hayabusa member, it is more like the, the formal um, way into the Belgian army rather than, it's not like a tryout, you're looking at five or ten different people that you want to, that you testing or trying out. The biggest obstacles are how to become a member of the Belgian yep. military system. So that's still ahead of you. Yeah. Yes. Are you scared? A little bit. You're becoming a the, soldier. No, no, because of the medical test. You never know if you have something you don't know. So that will be a critical point. Well, you in, look in healthy. All short is actually yeah. when they do an RX scan of his body some points you do not know until mm. they tell you on the picture listen your hips or your spine is not the way we mm. like our soldiers to be so that's the only thing because all the rest you see like oh yes ten fingers ten toes yes uh, his knees <laughs> or your, his legs are straight or whatever yeah. and his head is, is okay <laughs> but it's what inside in, inside of him and uh, that will only show by those uh, RX uh, uh, scans and that's the only thing where we're at the moment a little bit of cautious about um, because I think all the rest will be uh, looking at him knowing him he, he will do just fine but it's actually that first step uh, that that medical exam is actually what holds us a little bit back before we actually can announce hey Neil is our next uh, as well as for him, as well as for the for the team, you have to hold back a little bit before you can officially yeah. announce it. So yeah. we are yeah. really just in a in a trial phase, but not for because you don't want them, because you want them. Yes, exactly. And we don't really know, exactly. you know, how That's it's it. going to be like. Well, how is the jumping for you and for you? <laughs> it uh, we will see some videos. You know, we David send some copies already so we see a few jumps of that already how exciting is it for you neil it, yeah it's i'm very excited for it but it's it's not easy at the moment because there's a lot of info coming to me new things different style of flying uh right hand pattern so a lot of new things other techniques but it's going well i think and i i'm really enjoying it right hand pattern keyword 
I cannot even visualize. I mean, a right-hand pattern. I'm a left-hand pattern, you know, growing up on the, in, the, in that system. And when I think of that I would have to change now everything, my body just refuses even to consider that. And l lucky you are a very young jumper, actually, right? But yeah, I, yeah, but I always did a left-hand pattern and now right-hand, but... How does that feel like? I mean, on the video, it looks like a piece of cake. In the beginning, it was really weird. The first time we went in the tunnel, because you have some moves that says that like go automatically and now it's opposite direction so but you get used to it quicker than you actually expect i think if you keep an open mind yeah. and 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 you walk and you visualize it it, it, uh, it helps yeah because you're flying with your peace partner and your peace partner is at the other side so that will that always helps how did you find each other, actually? How did that happen? I mean, we knew, like, not too long ago, right after the World Meet, Andy said he, you know, he won another World Championship title, and he said, that's enough for me now, I don't want to continue any longer. So you, your search for a new member began, and um, there was always the option for David, for you to come back. There was a small option, yeah. Yeah, I mean we had a we had a we had a team talk together with the, with uh, Gary, um, so there was always a chance, and even uh, I think even until today there was that chance um, of uh, stepping in, but eventually it would not be the smartest choice for the future, uh, for the long term vision that Hayabusa actually has. Um, I think the decision that we are actually making at the moment is 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 for the future, the best one. Not that we cannot do it, I think, uh, but we have to look further than, uh, than just this year or the upcoming year. So that came first, you know, the team, you, the four on this side here, you sat down and said, what are we going to do now? Yeah, 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 exactly. That, what, that was happening in, in Qatar. In, Qat in yeah. Qatar at the SISM? Yeah, that was two weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but but <clears throat> to put all the cards on the table, is uh, Neil is not a, an unknown uh, skydiver to us. Uh, I think uh, from the moment that we were working and, and looking out uh, with with Michele, we already had Neil in our in our uh, crosshairs, ah. crosshairs, let's say. But he was he was too young, too new. He didn't have the experience. He didn't have a Palmares. It's also one of the requirements to join the uh, the Hayabusa team. Um, so he was he was not there yet. Although we knew that we had to keep an eye on him, and we always like had some. Some talks about him, like, hey, do you still like this uh, formation skydiving? What is your plan? And, and do you what? So he's not new, but at a certain moment things got uh, put in a, um, a, a fast forward move with Andy uh, splitting mm -hmm. the team, and then eventually it was there were only two options: it was or us or looking forward. And I think, uh, I, I, my, in my eyes, my honest opinion, I think what we have now is the best solution for the upcoming years. Upcoming years, not the next year. Yeah, the next year is a world meet year. Are we going to see Hayabusa not winning a world championship? I mean, that would be, if I realistically, it would be a little miracle if somebody is going from FS1 Falco level to a four-way world champion within a year, that, that would be a miracle, right? I mean, you, you've made things happen no, in not, the past. It's so not new. It's not it's, like we cannot do yeah. it. I think. I mean, Dennis is, a, is, a, is an example. Jeroen is, a, is an example. Mike is an example. One year? Not no, not one year, well, but Mike very one quick. Year, kind of, almost but very like two quick. years, two COVID years. Yeah, very quick. Two COVID years. So nothing is impossible. Mm. Nothing but, uh, is impossible. What do you think? Can you be a world champion next year? You will try to do it. <laughs> it will be very, very hard. <laughs> Maybe close to impossible, I think, but we're going to do everything to possible. do it. So yeah. Nothing is impossible yeah. and nothing has been impossible for you. I remember your slogan, your original slogan was... Stronger, stronger and faster than ever. Yeah. Every time when, you know, when you start next... The season. next lineup, the, I mean, 
think we can speak for each other, but I think the next lineup should always be stronger than the previous one. Yeah, you're kind of you're speaking too much anyway. Why not talk to the yeah, senior member? Tough. You're not the senior member, you're a cameraman now, okay? <laughs> 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 know, your, know your place. <laughs> I know I'm that still a finding father, guys. Watch I out, still, eh? I see you still <laughs> bringing a lot of input into the team from your camera position. I know I'm just joking, as you can, as you know. But Dennis is a senior member. He's. Are you becoming the official team captain now? Or what, what's no, I, th I think in Hayabusa we never had a real team captain. Obviously, the the, the more experienced people take maybe a little bit more uh, responsibilities, but we never we never liked the idea of one guy telling all the others what to do you know if if i'm the senior if basically the, the the guy if we talk military terms with the most the most uh, stripes is bob so i have to listen to him but uh oh yeah but um i think it works better for us and we have a better understanding if if uh, there's not a team captain let's say uh, but we all work in unison to, to come up with ideas to go with the direction we want to go and everybody has uh, the right to speak his, his mind uh, and, and I think that works the best for us. So, um, We also want to, we don't want to keep this a secret, Dennis, I hope you don't, you don't mind, but we, we really want to congratulate you too for I mean he's just he became a father five weeks ago or yeah eight weeks ago eight, eight weeks, weeks ago. ago he he and Clementine Le Bohec, who is the most talented four-way jumper on the planet he says uh, well, my, yeah I could yeah she's a mother and they're married yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and they have a baby now a nine year eight month eight week old baby baby boy a baby boy and yeah. you are a proud father yeah yeah so thank congratulations you. for that and we are not the only father we have a father here we have a father there you know we have two guys who are still um no they're not oh. available no, no they're fine. not available they have girlfriends <laughs> so but they at least have no family so anyhow congratulations thank you for that. thank you and uh <laughs> bob i have to <laughs> come back to you because I mean, today's news, or the recent days, brought some interesting news for you too, right? I mean, your your biggest opponent for the next, for the coming years, Arizona Airspeed, mm -hmm. they have a coach now that yep. you know really very yeah. well. I think, Dennis, if I if I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but y you uh, started with Hayabusa when Joey was still the coach, right? Yep. Joey was my, uh, I mean, in Hayabusa terms, Joey was a uh, coach for Hayabusa for a while. Uh, but when I stepped in, I think I had him for, for two years as a coach. Uh, but you were the alternate by then, right? Yeah, I was the alternate. But then when I stepped in, end of 2010, after Menzelinsk, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I still had one year or two years with, uh, with Joey. How interesting, because I, th I thought Gary took over in 2011 indoors and then 2012. Um, oh, what? Yeah, you know, some, somewhere somewhere at the end of 2011, I think but Gary took over. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. What, I definitely know. had Joey uh, in my jump, jumping and in my in my tunnel uh, training in, so, uh, in the beginning, definitely. So now he's coaching your toughest opponent. Yeah. Interesting situation. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes things spicy. And it becomes even more interesting when, when we get some story from Bob now about where your name is coming from. We heard it earlier. Joey gave you that name. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? How did you... You're Jirun. Jirun. Oh, Jirun, so that, oh, exactly. so I so that's, with that too. That's why I need like a... Like a, let's call it a English, an English name or something. And uh, every time the, the Joey, when, when he was coaching me, when I was an alternate, and I, I did like one training camp in Umpria with him as a coach, he also couldn't pronounce my name and every time he wanted me to do something on the creepers or whatever he just called me Kevin Kevin Nathan John whatever <laughs> Bob and Bob was the name that kind of sticked and eventually it's, it's also useful to like when you're traveling to Bedford or something you need to order a, a cab you start yeah a cab for Jeroen uh, so, uh, just 
bob is, is so much easier and it's, it's easier on the cutaway pillow also <laughs> so, yeah, so it, yeah. it stayed so and now joey is from. back hey joey good to have you back in business here in top business you are the guys you have to beat mm -hmm. <laughs> with the sb yeah. next year <clears throat> and it will be it will be exciting it's the first time that the sb has been working with a coach for a while. I mean, they had Solly for a little while, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I cannot say how much Joey is working with them. Uh, if it's full time or here and there, like like Solly was, but um, it's definitely interesting. And uh, I'm curious to see what uh, what Joey can bring, can add to them, because uh, they're looking they're looking strong. They're looking strong, and uh, yeah, I'm curious to meet them in uh, in Eloy. Yeah, I mean. Uh, realistically, what, what do you think, Dave? But realistically, Airspeed is now that has a head start now, right? Well, for Because sure, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you cannot expect us or the new team to to um, to be on the same level where we left uh, when Andy stepped out. Uh, that's that's unrealistically, and I also think that it's not fair to put that amount of pressure on uh, Neil and on on Mikey. Um, but it's just like it's just like I said before, we're not. We're not so much looking because because the the legacy of Hayabusa, the legacy of Hayabusa is not ending after the World Championship of uh, of Eloy. We would mm -hmm. like to keep that name running for for 10, 20 years like if, if necessary. Been, you know, been, yeah, yeah, exactly. So so while. so it's not ending right now. And and and, and I think um, I, I think. Yeah, what what happens if you if you miss one world championship? If you can add three or four more afterwards, hmm. doesn't that doesn't that doesn't because now at the moment, if you look at it how with the, the how the team is formed right now, we have a very young center hmm. in the team, very young that 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 can that can go on for the next 10 years if 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 we like. So it's not it's not a stupid choice from us to to do that already right now. Yeah. Yeah, there, and, and also to come back, there is never a great time to change. There are so many world championships coming mm -hmm. up, especially for us. We have two world championships every year. Every year, military indoor or military outdoor. So there's every year a world cha uh, two world championships. There is never a great moment for us to say, hey, now is the time for you to, to, to step out and to bring somebody else in. And luckily it went really well when Mike came in, during the pandemic. There was actually uh, uh, a, a nice moment, let's say. Maybe yes, maybe no. Eventually, it turned out well. For Neil, it's a little bit on the on the critical side because he all, we also need to implement his basic boot camp for three months. So we we lose him next year for three months because he's <laughs> doing his basic boot camp. So that's also a little bit on the tricky side because losing him also means not not being okay, able to yeah. train with him, mm -hmm. and then the guys need to do it with me. Boot camp, yeah, exciting. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It will be like training. when I finish that physical training. Yeah, I will be official in the team, so that yeah. will be the last military test I need to do. So I'm looking forward to it. I think some part of it I will remember it for the rest of my life. So I'm, yeah, it will not be. Like a horrible experience, I think it will be <laughs> a partly like a fun experience, also. Joey and your coach Gary Smith used to be teammates as world champions. They're not only teammates, um, peace partners, you know, in the front piece. So I'm sure you have talked with your coach through the situation already. He's in in Europe probably mm -hmm. by now. You know, yeah. he, he couldn't. He was just in Qatar for the yeah. season me too. Um, he couldn't make this camp or d didn't want to do it at this point in time because right now there's so much basic work probably mm -hmm. for you to work on. But you talked through with him, right? So, what was his take on the, you know, Dave or new member and all? Did you include him in this yeah. discussion? Yeah, def yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> Gary gave us opi his opinion, and it it was straight away in line with uh, with a little bit what we had in mind. Um, everything depends obviously depended obviously on the dates of his uh, medical exams, when he can start his boot camp, and all that stuff. At that time, we didn't know, but we kind of all agreed with the coach that the sooner we can put him in, the better. 
So, yes, you could argue the fact that maybe we could shoot for this world championship with Dave, but but as Dave said, it's a long ter- it's it's a long term project, and and I mean, if Dave steps in, he takes his own slot, and then Mike still has to learn a new slot. So you still have the risk factor. If it would have been, it's it's no guarantee against airspeed that you win, even even with the lineup with with Andy. There's yeah, no we, guarantee. We, we forgot to talk about this before because there's a slot scramble too now. You know, Bob is going to point, and um, and Dennis is going to outside center or, or inside center, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Mike is going to tail and camera. Something like <laughs> this. I don't know. It's confusing because they're changing all the time. I don't know. Correct me. So uh, somebody give me the no. The so proper situation, so the please. the situation is now if um, so if uh, Neil. Uh, passes his test uh, we're looking at lineup with uh, where Bob and myself we stay in our slots and we have a, as they've said a, a new center with Mikey going from uh, his inside center slot uh, to outside center in the front piece and Neil keeping a slot that he had with Falco but then doing it right-handed with us so <laughs> yeah the two youngest one in the center and uh, the experienced ones in the, on the outsides <laughs> We've seen that before. You know, I remember that um, <coughs> Wemby did a similar thing. You know, they they put the girls who were on the outside into the center, and then got the experience of the outside. Interesting yeah. comparison that was with Joey too. On you yeah. know, an interesting thing. Um, <coughs> Mikey, you are officially replacing the unofficially announced best flyer on the planet in his slot. Yes. yes. <laughs> Big shoes. Yeah, last year I was thinking that I had more pressure, but this year I have more and more pressure. <laughs> so, uh, when I joined Hayabusa as inside center, I had to fill Dave's shoes, so uh, as true. inside center, and now... And you won the world championship. And I won the world championship. But my shoes were a size 10, I think Andy's <laughs> were a size 9, so they're less big. <laughs> <laughs> and now I had to replace uh, Andy, uh, which uh, unofficially is the best player in the world, but I think that everybody agrees about this. And for me, I would have, I think, lo- lots of pressure for this. And, but as the last two years, as Hayabusa showed that we can really train good as a team, and with the right spirit and with this new lineup, uh, younger, uh, we can repeat what we did last year. And so, uh, yes, maybe we will not be ready 100% for Eloy, but for sure we will go there with the, with the winning mentality, I'm just going there to participate. Well, and you are the role model for that kind of winning mentality because, again, replacing David and winning, <laughs> that was already. Uh, Know, pretty good success. Um, you made your first jumps at the outside center slot this year at this camp, right? Yes. yes. Well, how did I how, mean, in what do you think? Because before I was also outside center in Amnesia. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yes, you have experience. Yes. And also with the same exit near the outside center. No, because we were jumping from Pilatus. So I never did uh, ah. jump from caravan as outside center. So you were the outside. the outside center from Indonesia was outside of the yes. plane. Yes. So the outside center for Hayabusa is inside yes. the plane. Yeah. Yes. To make it more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it's it's more let's say easier from some ways to go to jump out from the inside. Um, you to just be paying attention to some stuff, but it's easier to jump from inside and jump from the outside. You like the slot? Yes. <laughs> Good. Talking, Big talking. I, are you talking to Andy about it? Or is uh, it? No, sometimes. Okay. Yes. Well, you, yeah, you were in the team together yeah, anyway. Sure, sure. sure, we will get in touch for some advice. So th- that's all good. Now, now for Neil, th- that's a totally different story. If if I only try to think of a right hand pattern coming from a lifelong left hand pattern, my whole my whole system opposes. I cannot even visualize it. Yeah, but it goes quicker than you think because 
when you're flying with your peace partner and for example you take block 21 it's logical to go to just step out to the side of your peace partner and not away from him <laughs> yeah so all those <laughs> work well things and like building all the random so some are really hard so sometimes you, you want to go to random and wrong side <laughs> <laughs> but yeah exactly yeah, a lot of them are pretty logic but you have no other way to go yeah so oh, it takes time but it's it's doable yeah and luckily yeah. you don't have thousands of jumps you have only 1500 or yeah, something so more than yeah. Mike more than Mike <laughs> <laughs> Mike is still the baby yeah. <laughs> oh that is so funny yeah. <laughs> wow well okay we will have some videos so we can see how Neil is doing it on you know in the first uh, few jumps at least that we saw here and um, well I can't wait to, to watch and see how, how it is going and I really appreciate that you took the time so early in this in this phase but it's all said and done now um, to allow us to get an, some insights of the whole situation mm -hmm. Good luck with everything. Have fun, Neil. I wish I were yes. you. Um, but they, you know, if, if 26 is too old for the Belgian military, I think I'm beyond that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, You're 28, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> barely just out of the range there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, good luck. Thank you very much for taking the time, and um, we hopefully we'll speak with you very soon again. I mean, at the very latest, it will be the Shamrock. I think they have decided to bring you into to that for competition yeah. and experience so that will be at the same place here again but we'll talk before okay. cool thanks again thank you thank Kurt. you have thank fun you. with the rest of the camp and good trip back to europe thank you okay bye, -bye. goodbye